important issue for voters this year, the southern border. And Texas Governor Greg Abbott announcing he is expanding that controversial buoy program one month after a federal appeals, appeals court ruled that Texas can keep that barrier wall in the Rio Grande. The goal for Texas and Governor Abbott is to get the number of crossings down to zero. And records do show the number of crossings has decreased. Let's bring in border correspondent Ali Bradley, who is live in Texas. And Ali, you had a chance to speak exclusively with Governor Abbott. Yeah, hey, Nicole, it was good to finally hear from the governor of the state of Texas here doing a lot of work uh, fighting the illegal crossings that we've been watching. And you mentioned it, those numbers are down. We've seen about an 85% decrease here in Texas. But the governor says, Lower isn't enough. He wants to get it down to zero people crossing into the Lone Star State illegally. So how does he plan to do that? Well, one of the things he's going to be using is that buoy barrier system that you're talking about there. After months of battling over the barrier, the governor says that the Fifth Circuit Court ruled in the state's favor. So they're going to be expanding that within the next few months, saying it costs one-tenth of what building the wall does. Now, when it comes to that wall, they want to continue expanding that as well. It's nearly done here in Del Rio. But the issue there that they're dealing with when it comes to expanding the buoys is opponents say the barrier was a threat to the navigation of the federal government, and it's also harmful to human life. So one of the issues that they're dealing with, so they want to expand that barrier, but then you've got this physical wall structure. So how do you get that built all along the border? Well, the barrier has its own challenges because private landowners aren't allowing Governor Abbott to build it there, but he says he is hopeful that they'll persuade the holdouts. One area that he doesn't need permission to block off, though, is a border between Texas and New Mexico. Governor Abbott says illegal immigrants are coming through New Mexico. They're walking right into El Paso, and he wants to put a stop to that by blocking off the neighboring state using razor wire like what they did at Shelby Park in Eagle Pass. We want to wire that shut uh, like we have, for example, uh, in Eagle Pass. Uh, so that, that it will make it incapable for them to bring people in to Texas from New Mexico. We've solved the Texas problem, but not the United States problem. That requires a new president to make sure that we are actually going to secure our border. Okay, so Governor Abbott has faced years of backlash for his migrant busing operation, another uh, kind of controversial situation that he created there. He tells us that the operation is paused right now because numbers are down. He says they do expect to see a higher volume of migrants attempting to cross the southern border in the coming months as we approach the election. But he says they are ready and they are prepared to start up those busing operations again if those numbers start to spike. But, Nicole, what's really interesting here is he says they don't want to re restart the busing program because, again, they want to get those numbers to zero. The goal is deterrence, so they don't want anyone coming into the state that ultimately needs to be bust out, Nicole. All right, so Ali, a few months ago, you were down in the Rio Grande Valley. It was for our border special, our News Nation border special. I know you had several interactions with uh, illegal migrants. You also spoke with at least one agent who wanted to remain anonymous. What did the governor have to say about all of that? Yeah, while we were down in the Rio Grande Valley, of course, that's in Texas. And while we were down there, those numbers across the board had started to go down. But we were still seeing a lot of activity in Texas. We still had four interactions with illegal immigrants in just a, the course of an hour. And so I wanted to know what the governor felt about that kind of interaction that we had while they were actively fighting the illegal immigration problem. He says that his troopers and his soldiers are well prepared and they're doing everything that they can to keep Texas safe and keep Keep Texans safe and secure. Now, when it comes to the agent that we were able to talk with, that individual wanted to remain anonymous, but told us that the cartel controls the border. So, yes, I wanted to ask the governor what he felt about that. If the cartel controls the border, then what is Texas's role in all of this? And he says that may have been the case, but that is no longer. He says the cartel is not making money off of Texas anymore. Coming up on Vargas Reports, Nicole will be talking more about that, why the governor says that all of the activity has moved out of the state. And we'll explain more about what he's doing to tamp down on the terrorist activity as well, Nicole. All right, Ellie Bradley live for us there in Texas. Thank you. We Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.